Hi YouTube and welcome to my video. Arr, that was really cringy. <laughs> I was trying to do the Captain Jack Sparrow thing, but hey YouTube, um, welcome to my channel. And today I'm wearing a pirate costume. And the reason I'm wearing a pirate costume is because I woke up today. I didn't shower last night and my hair was a total mess. You know, what I thought, I thought, why not just dress up like a pirate? You know, they were probably dirty as fuck. They probably just threw everything they had on them. You know, just I bet they didn't even have places to store things in those dirty, filthy ships. They'd be covered in grime, covered in seawater, probably even coated in a variable shell, a variable armor of their own excrement in the bacteria colonies. Thousands and thousands of bacteria colonies that may not even exist today. Bacteria that may not even exist because they only could exist in the most filthy of environments that we don't have today. <laughs> That'd be kind of interesting. Imagine going back in a time machine, taking some bacteria from about 50 years ago, or even 100 years ago. There'd be all these new discoveries, all these new medicines that you could squeeze out of it. Because that's how the world works today. New frontiers? Microbiology is a new frontier to exploit. But for good things, like medicine. Man, modern medicine's everywhere. I guess that's one of the blessings of capitalism. Although I don't really think capitalism is great, but that's the uh, topic of today's video. Also, what I'm going to talk about is uh, my costume and uh, these nice tats. Um, I did these yesterday. It's all eyeliner and marker. <laughs> and, uh, well, you know, they're a little faded, so... I look so much better yesterday. I'm all bloated because I had like two pizzas and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, see? Nice. Anyway, my costume is the way I was thinking was oh, what would be the most accurate kind of depiction of pirates? It wouldn't be what we see in the movies because movies have no, what's it called? They have no encouragement whatsoever to be realistic. Although I'd say today because fans are more um, more critical than they used to be about things, you do get a lot of fans who are like, I want things to be realistic because uh, I can relate with it more. Historically accurate, too. That goes with having a higher general knowledge base. However, a lot of fans out there, a lot of people who say movies are not historic. A lot of critical people out there today, especially those who make YouTube videos, have a lot of false facts, a lot of misinformation. And the issue is, is that the worst thing that we have today is, I mean, YouTube's great, but a lot of times what happens is competition kind of takes over and people tend to lean towards more being captivating and interesting, even though um, over factual. Get a lot of that. And um, another issue is that people, eh, people don't really tend to believe things based on whether they're factual or not. It's kind of more tendency to so how much conviction you can say something. With how much conviction. Um, that's a problem. I see a lot of people out there who make a lot of good arguments, say a lot of false bullshit with a lot of conviction, and a lot of people believe it. I'm not saying I'm like a paragon of knowledge. I'm sure there's plenty of things I've argued myself that are complete bullshit. That comes with just about anything. And what bothers me now is that, yes, we do have a lot of information out there, but just, just the proportion of information on the internet that's just sheer bullshit that people believe, even trying to back up is just mind-boggling. Like, we're supposed to be, like, the smartest species on the planet, but our heads are filled with bullshit. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, that's the other thing about movies is... Uh, so it makes it hard to fact-check thing, too, because uh, there's a lot of people out there who write papers not to study the subject, but to kind of compete against other academics and that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of that too, you know. Um, that's just a general statement. A lot of my statements today have just been general nonsense. So you can uh, take it with a grain of salt or not. I'd prefer if you take it with a grain of salt um, because I don't have a prompt for me. Um, a lot of my uh, statements I could probably back up, but I didn't do any research for what I'm saying. So, you know. Actually, I did, but this is kind of like stuff in the past. What am I going to talk about today? Pirates. Yes, my costume. I figured that, you know, you're, you're a pirate on the sea. Uh, this is during like the uh, 
what, 16th, 17th, 18th centuries and that kind of stuff where we had a lot of trade worldwide. A lot of traders on the oceans, right? So you would have people from several different cultures all trading with each other. And pirates would be robbing these people. And you're a, you're a dumb pirate, probably you're a farmer, or somebody's pissed off at your government, you know, because they're being total assholes to you or discriminating against you or wanting to kill you because of what you believe in. Um, so if you pillage in people and you just pick up stuff on their ships, raid it, probably don't have a place to store things on your ship without them getting stolen by the other buggies out there. Brutal world that didn't really expect to live long. It tends to be a general consensus about him. What are you gonna do? You're gonna put all the stuff you get, you're gonna put all your shit on your person. That's what you're gonna do. Your necklaces, this is a necklace. It's on my head. Is that right? It's called a necklace, not a head lace. I'm a dumb pirate. I probably can't even speak English very well. I don't even know most English words, even though I was born, you know, uh, with Eng English parents or something like that. And, uh,. Yeah, so I, I don't know what this is. I'm just going to put it on my head because it looks pretty there. A bunch of beads in my hair. And another necklace and my banana and that kind of stuff. Um, my hair all tied back. I don't even have the time to cut it. Half the time I'm too drunk and I try to cut it and I accidentally, I accidentally cut my neck. You know, that kind of stuff. It probably would have had really weird accents because it's possible that um, they would have had people of all different cultures becoming pirates. That is a guess. Do not quote me on that. I'm guessing. But it's just, it's just the whole thing's interesting. But uh, pirates today. Uh, what about today's pirates? Something that really does get me is that there seems to be this tendency to look at things that are inherently viral, like piracy, piracy and just like, I don't even know, like, like grind all the malice out of it, out of it and feed it to children. Like, look at Captain Crunch. Yay, I'm so joyful. <laughs> His ridiculous colonial hat. That kind of stuff. Uh, and Pirates of the Caribbean is not bad. But then you have things like that stupid... Oh my god, I hate the animations. I don't know why. It just gives me connections. That veggie pirate thing. I don't like that. I mean, it's like, when? why are pirates something for kids? You look up piracy online, you get pictures of decapitation, slavery... People in many boats with RPGs who are half starving to death and have people pointing guns at their head. If you don't give me that gold, I'm going to fucking kill you and your whole family. You know, that kind of stuff. That's piracy. Modern piracy is like that. It's dangerous. It's full of murder. Bad stuff. More bad stuff I'm not going to say because I'm going to get demonetized if I say it. They're not pleasant creatures. What I think is like, Okay, so there's a tendency, I think, to, like, uh, I, I don't want to say coddle, because that's really condescending. But there's a tendency to, to really water down everything for children in our society, which is, I think, is great. This obsession with pirates for little kids, like, you know, Jolly Roger and that kind of stuff. It gets me, because you have, a, a, like, a, you have iPhones and that kind of stuff. You have a little kid. You start looking into pirates, and they're just, like... It would be eye-opening. <laughs> I mean, you, I, I bet most of the videos that you have online that have actual real pirates in them are on gore sites in snuff films. Because that would be the domain of an actual pirate. You know, something horrible like that. So, <laughs> it's just, it just, you know, it just, it just really gets me. And, and then you see something also with pirates, sharks, dinosaurs, that's a big one. Um, think about what a T-Rex would look like if they were around today. They'd terrorize and eat everything. But you think about dinosaurs, what do you think? First thing you think is cuddly things like, uh, what was that, land before time. You don't think monsters. You get this warm feeling inside of these memories you had when you were a kid learning about the big, big dinosaurs and that kind of stuff. No, a dinosaur would rip your head off like, like this. You know, crocodiles. Think of the closest relative to a dinosaur. It's a crocodile. Extremely intelligent, practically sociopathic engine of eternal slaughter. That's a crocodile. That's the closest thing we got to a dinosaur. That pleasant. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I'm a pirate and get just throw all my shit on me because people aren't gonna steal it if it's on me. Um, unless they kill me for it. Better not steal my stuff, you little you know. Arr. And this is a cavalier. Sorry, God, I gotta, 
I got this at like a antique store. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they would have had braided hair though. Maybe some of them did, maybe some of them didn't. I like this hair beads though. It's a nice necklace. I went out shopping today and everybody was just looking at me like, okay, this person can't let go of Halloween. I hope my audio is working. Otherwise, I just recorded 10 minutes of nonsense without an audio. That's a problem. I'm getting good in the mic. Excuse the fact that this video is not edited at all. It probably doesn't make sense. It probably bounces around like 50 different topics in 10 minutes. Um, but that's about what it is. All right, everyone. Bye. And uh, this little guy here, his name's Frederick. And I don't really care about Frederick. <laughs>